when you start out, you're not really, you don't really care about money that much and you just create what you want to create. Mm -hmm. Like purely just intrinsic motivation, like I said, it's just pure you being passionate about something. Then you start making money with it because you get good at it and uh, people are willing to pay for your product, for your song. Um, and then a whole new world opens of the music industry and people asking you for certain types of songs, certain things. You, you drop 10 different songs and you see that one specific song uh, hits very well. And then that influences your, your creative process to which you start creating more towards that song you or beat you created before which already sold. And if you go down that path for a couple of years, you might end up being in a place where you might not even want to be creatively. Like you might be able to uh, be in a place where you're like, oh damn, I ended up here by following that hit I made or that little success I had right there. And now I'm not really making what I want to make and that intrinsic mo motivation, which fuels you to work as hard as you possibly can, which you have to do within the music industry. Uh, it fades away. Um, so one thing that really, really, really helped me finding, because at the beginning of the interview, I was, always, I, was, I was also talking about creating your own niche and like dive down into that. Um, at some point I had to, to like change my niche because I found myself in, in a spot where I didn't really like the music I was making. Um, and for anyone who is, so this is also relevant for people who are just starting out. If you're trying to find your niche, go back to that moment when you started out making music. Like what, what, what was the kind of music, like, even if it were you as a kid or what, what was your introduction to music and what was it that made you want to make? the music because that energy right there exactly that energy is the energy you have to carry throughout your career to make it big like ex like you Turkey. that I, I feel like that is the because if, if you look at like the, the top guys like the the top guy the people who've been killing it for a long time not people who do one hit or whatever if you look at the top top guys they have that childlike energy in everything they do because they 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 stuck to uh, they stuck to their own just yeah to their own <laughs> they st they stuck to to themselves and stayed true to that to that and I think if you are able to create your niche of beats for instance within a niche you are actually fascinated about and like don't take uh, commercial value into consideration too much because every niche has like if you're doing alternative rock type beats or psychedelic rock. I don't care. Like there's people who are going to be in, if you are interested in it, we aren't all that special as we might think. There's a lot of people like us, like me, like you, who have the same interest and the same uh, references as you, and they will be interested in that. Um, and that, that will be your ticket to having fun in what you do, because that's more important than money, period. Here again. <laughs> Here again. And so that's the, for, I think that's the cheat code to be able to do what you like and make money with it because you are able to put so much energy in it that you will see financial return for your effort. Can I get some snaps in the chat? <laughs> Can I get some snaps, some hand claps in the chat? Can I get some gems? Can I get some diamonds in the chat, please? People. Sure. Tanji you just said some really important things. You know what? It's really interesting because it's interesting that you say, like, go back to the first moment. Because even, even just as a fan, thinking about the music that I first started out listening to, I'm like, to this day, that's the stuff that makes my heart sing. You know what I mean? So that's pretty interesting. And the other, the other thing that you really nailed on the head was that there are people who are going to like exactly what you like. So don't worry about following like the mass crowd of what's hot or whatever. There's still, whatever you do, whoever you are, there's a market for what you're making. Somebody's going to love it. Um, it just depends on how much time you want to put into, you know, hunting for that.